All right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox and this week we are diving back into the world of AI art generation, specifically with Dolly 2. Dolly 2 is another text prompt based AI art generation tool and I wanna see how the text prompts I put in our mid journey video, I wanna see how those exact prompts hold up inside of the Dolly 2 system and see how we can compare and contrast the two. So I think this should be pretty cool. If you're interested in this tutorial and seeing how Dolly 2 works, let's get going. Okay, so first and foremost, you obviously have to make a login. Uh, it is now open to the general public. It used to not be. Once you're logged in, you only have a certain set of free images. Um, so I'm still going through my free images, but this is kind of how the initial prompt screen looks. So I will say compared to Mid Journey, which is just currently a Discord bot server, this does look a lot nicer, right? You're not just like going through massive amounts of other users inputting their art and it's flying through the Discord chat, etc. So this looks pretty nice. So it says, start with a detailed description. There's also upload an image to edit. We'll go over that later. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put some of these prompts that we put in our mid journey tutorial uh, into here and see how they compare. So the first thing we did, we did a 3D illustration of a cute bird robot. Okay, I'm just gonna hit generate and see what we get. Has a little progress bar going, and there we go. We have a cute 3D bird robot. It's interesting, this looks like way more 3D than our mid-journey ones, but also kind of poor taste 3D. <laughs> uh, so that's interesting to see. And from here, it gives you kind of four results as Midjourney does. And then I can kind of click on this and say, generate new variations um, or download or edit the image, etc. So in the previous video, I basically did a versioning of one of these and kind of saw where it took me. So I'm going to uh, choose maybe version of this weird uh, robot two can we got going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to go down to generate variations and click that. Okay, <laughs> I mean, these are looking pretty interesting. This one's looking a little more uh, clay-like, which is kind of cool. Overall, not super impressed with this. Um, I think what's interesting about Mid Journey is it feels much more like painterly and artistic, um, and you don't have to add as much detail to the prompts. So maybe what we are missing is more detail to the prompts inside of Dolly. And look here, it is telling me longer specific descriptions tend to work best. So that's very interesting um, in here versus Mid Journey. I feel like Mid Journey, sometimes if you make it too long, it kind of doesn't know really what to focus on. Um, I'm going to put the same prompt we just put in inside of this. Okay, and let's go ahead and hit generate and see how this looks. All right, we got some, uh, this kind of looks like something from Crash Bandicoot back in the day or something. Probably aging myself there. Um, okay, so these are much more like robotic and stuff than, uh, and kind of more put together and clean, I would say, compared to uh, what we were getting in Mid Journey. Like you can really see the features going on here. This one's pretty cool, actually. This is a really interesting idea, kind of bird-like, but kind of this cute face. Um, yeah, everything seems to be really clear here. Like you can see talons on the feet. Everything has its place versus our mid journey prompts. Um, you know, if you zoom in close on them, they kind of look like a bunch of spaghetti and things aren't as uniform the closer you look. Okay, so that is interesting. Um, from there in the mid journey tutorial, I kind of started talking more around uh, framing and lenses and things like that. So let's see how Dolly compares to that, especially because in Dolly, it seems like we're getting a lot of kind of solid neutral colored backgrounds. Like we got all completely white backgrounds here, which is pretty interesting that it's choosing to do that. So I'm going to say a 3D illustration of cute bird robot and then kind of delete the rest of this and say with hyper detailed metal armor. And then as I did in the mid journey one, I'll say wide shot comma tilt shift comma center framed. Let's see what happens here. Okay, interesting. Well, it looks like it did not respect the term wide shot. So that is definitely something that differs from mid journey. Mid journey has a lot of kind of filmic language in it. So you can 
set up shots and scenes you know it really understands like wide shot ultra wide shot medium shot etc um, maybe the aspect ratio here uh, is something i need to look into further to get a wider shot again these are really cool though i feel like compared to mid journey these are just way more ready to go <laughs> like i almost just want toys of all of these already versus mid journey i felt like it was more impressionistic and I kind of could use it as my buddy in brainstorming versus this feels a little bit more like maybe my buddy uh, in the class project did all the work and I'm just showing up and we'll get an A plus if you know what I mean. So that is how kind of Dolly compares to those same prompts we saw inside of Mid Journey. And then from there, I just want to show what Dolly also has, which is a photo editing system, which is really interesting. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to hit upload. And then just to make this easy, I am grabbing an image made by Melissa Matheson. She, um, her handle on Instagram is at Melissa like sushi. I'll throw it down in the bottom corner. She did some amazing renders using our 3D model packs. Um, we did a bunch of artist collabs, so I'm just going to grab one of her images and we'll kind of mess around with it since it has a lot going on in it. So unfortunately, as you can see here, it is asking us for a square area to edit. So it can't really take random aspect ratios. So I'm going to choose crop over on this image. And then here you can say generate variations, which is interesting. So you can generate variations based upon the artwork you upload. And then you can also choose to edit the image. So let's see what Generate Variations does first. Okay, and we got a bunch of interesting results that look very similar, um, but are different, as you can see. I'm very amazed with Dolly again that it is very clear. You can really see what's going on. Like if I tap into this, I mean, over here gets a little confusing maybe. Um, but overall, I feel like there's, no, this is actually pretty painterly. Like, look what's going on in the tire. There's actually quite a bit of, uh, non-specific looking stuff here. In the small scale, it looked a lot more specific. Let's check this one out. Yeah, this too. This is more painterly as well. So I guess with this stylized image we chose, it's having trouble understanding this. So I'm always interested in like stylized stuff inside of these AI programs. Cause I feel like that's the thing that's way harder to achieve versus like a photo of a dog, you know? Um, okay, so from here, let's go back to our original image and say edit. And now what happens in here is you get kind of this tool panel and there are a couple things you can do here. The first thing is there is an eraser tool. So let's say I erase this basketball like that. And then I put in stylized camper scene with small soccer ball. I haven't really done this before, so I'm assuming this is kind of what you have to do. It's interesting that you're erasing a part of an image and then it's telling you to describe something. Like I wanted to look at the whole, oh shoot, it, that was amazing. Never mind, I'll shut up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Obviously this doesn't look exactly like a soccer ball, but it left everything pretty much intact but instead we now have a soccer ball in the scene. That is pretty cool. What it did over here, it did a red ball. That looks pretty nice too. And it's kind of in the same lighting and shading of everything. That is pretty cool. So I guess this photo editing tool is pretty amazing. Another thing I've seen, which I really want to try out, I haven't tried this out yet, is I'm going to go to the original, hit edit, and back in this canvas, there's this new thing called add generation frame. So I'm going to click that, Put it over here. I'm going to kind of move our canvas. And then I'm going to describe what I want in this frame. So if I go back to the image that she created, which is this beautiful landscape piece of art, over here you can see she did an orange tent, kind of a campfire going, a little flag, um, etc. So I'm going to try and describe this left side of the frame and see what we get. Let's first try to not say anything about it being stylized and see if Dolly understands that the right side of the image is stylized. So I'm going to say an orange tent with a small campfire and a flagpole with a yellow circle on the flag. Mountains and clouds in the background. Okay, so I'm going to just do this. No stylization in the prompt. Let's see what happens. 
Okay. <laughs> nice. And this is why we will always have jobs. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, this is, I mean, it kind of got what I was saying. There's a flag, there's an orange tent, uh, there is some mountains, etc. But it's interesting to see it's nothing like the right-hand image. I would think that would in, be involved in the prompt somehow. It does give you four variants. So again, kind of interesting. Let's take this prompt. I'm going to hit cancel. A stylized 3D scene with an orange tent. Let's say a stylized 3D scene and see what happens from there. Okay, still not loving these results. It's kind of interesting how bad this is actually. So let's pop out of here. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to show one final prompt. So what I have found with Dolly versus Midjourney and all of these AR art programs is stylization is hard to achieve through AI uh, to a certain extent. As you saw, the 3D bird model was getting close, but um, you know something as awesome as this piece of work that Melissa did, it it can't really come close and it can't really figure out um, how to make the equivalent of that. Uh, what Dolly does really well though is kind of that clarity we were talking about in the 3D bird model. So I'm going to show you a photo-based example. So let's say a man sitting in a lawn chair enjoying an ice cold lemonade to deer graze in his lawn while the sprinklers go off. Okay, I'm going to hit generate here. So again, I didn't say anything about stylization. I didn't say anything about 3D this time. And you'll be able to see. <laughs> I mean, this right here, it almost looks to the level of Photoshop. Like there are definitely things that are messed up here. AI programs notoriously have problems with hands, but this is pretty funny. It's literally kind of out of perspective of a guy watching a deer in his lawn and it put this together. So, and then we have macaroons. <laughs> All right. Well, in my opinion, uh, that is a wrap for Dolly since we got these beautiful pieces of artwork from it. I think my job is safe on this one. I think the photo editing stuff is really interesting and there are things that are more kind of photoshoppy, photo real looking prompts you can do inside of Dolly. I think it's helpful if you're really trying to get like an idea of something across, maybe for a storyboard that is extremely specific. Whereas Mid Journey is more on kind of the artist rendering side. It feels more painterly and kind of feels more fantastical compared to this being grounded in almost that Photoshoppy nature. Um, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to run through Dolly versus Mid Journey and show the difference between the prompts I did. So hopefully that helps. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments section below. It always helps if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out new content every Friday. So let me know if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see. Uh, and that is pretty much it. I will catch you next time.